Hi Handsome and welcome to my first ever video. I heard that you are interested in the game Plant Dead Online, also known as BDO. During your research on YouTube, Twitch and other social media, you have definitely heard a lot of things about the game. You've heard that the game's combat is amazing and best in genre and that the graphics are outstanding and it's insane that even though the game came out 10 years ago, other MMOs are just now starting to catch up. You have also probably heard that the game's character creation leads to some pretty nice sights. The thing you have heard above all of these though is the discussion about Black Desert being pay to win or not. This discussion is going on for many many years and while some people will tell you that the game still is pay to win completely and is not worth your money and or time, or that the game has changed and it's not really pay to win, it's just pay for convenience and things to make your life easier based on if those people like the game or don't. I am here to ask a very simple question for all of us. How convenient is the pay for convenience in Black Desert Online? To do this, because I am not very creative, I have decided to make a tier list of most of the pearl shop items in the game. A uh, pearl shop is basically the real money shop and the reason I did not include all of them is because some of them are, I just don't know how to grade. I have some hours put into BDO and I feel confident on ranking most of these items but if there is another person who has a different opinion I completely welcome it and I am free to have my opinion changed on the item one way or the other. Alright, so here is the tier list, you can see it's just a basic template, whatever. Let's get right into it. First off, we have pay to win. This category is uh, four items that will be pay to win, which is all of them. So goodbye, or just done, you know, a tired joke. So uh, pay to win will be items that directly get you silver, either by saving it, so you don't have to use as much silver when you use that item, or by giving it to you straight up so you can sell this item on the central market and they will just give you silver, right? That's pay to win. Uh, then we have mandatory, mandatory I should say. Uh, no items really are mandatory, you can play this game completely free to play after you purchase the game. So there are no like locked zones or skills or whatever, like for example in RuneScape. But if you were to buy uh, an item, if you want to spend money, then uh, these items should be what you want to buy, right? These should be the first items that you buy over anything else. Then we have specific. Specific items are tied to a specific activity. So for example, if you are a pve -er, you just want to hit mobs and do, uh, run circles and do nothing else, you are probably not interested in getting a pet that will help you gather, right? If you want to do those activities, however, these items are very good for those activities, but they are still specific. Then we have the mid tier, it's just alright. Uh, you can have these items if you want to, you uh, obviously don't have to buy them. It will make your life easier still because it's a pay for convenience monetization uh, method, but uh, if you don't choose to buy them or if you just don't have the money to buy them, you're not losing much. Then we have time savers, these are just things that will save you time, but could be very negligible, basically just EXP boosts and stuff like that. Then cosmetics, uh, cosmetics are only like, just, yeah, self-explanatory, right? And then don't waste your money, just don't buy this item at all, don't, don't even think about buying them. Okay, so that's the explanation done, let's get right into it. First off, we have pay to win and Obviously, everyone who ever played BDO knows that you could sell items on the central market, so this, the outfits are the best for this, and uh, they are just pay to win, right? I don't need to get into the, how much it is, how, how big it is, it's not the purpose of this, I'm not here to persuade you, like, oh my god, blah blah blah, you know, it's not that bad, you know? You make your own decisions, I'm here just to inform. Next up. We have artisan memories. Again, if you played the game, you probably know, but this is for the people who don't know or maybe are thinking about things. 
Uh, yeah, this is just a pay to win item. It helps you recover maximum durability on items better. Uh, whenever you fail an enhancement, your item that you were enhancing loses your ability. So yeah, this is just to make you recover the durability faster. You need an item to recover the durability normally. It costs roughly 4 million silver. It, and one item recovers one durability. With the artisan memory, one item recovers five durability. So you are basically saving uh, like 16 million silver each time that you repair. All right, so that's the pay to win category basically. Over again, you could say that all of these items are pay to win. I'm not going to argue with you, that's fine. But it would make the video pretty uh, silly. So next up, we can talk a little bit about the subscriptions for the game. There are yeah, multiple, yeah, I know. And uh, they are called the value pack. The Kama Sylvia's Blessing and the Blessing of the Old Moon. Each of these uh, does a different thing. The value pack is probably the best. I would consider this mandatory, personally. I will show you everything that it does on the screen. Uh, it does a lot of things. The most important are the uh, inventory slots and the storages and also the central market uh, tax, right? So you get more money from selling items on the marketplace. That's the most important thing about it, together with the inventory. The inventory and storage can be worked over or like you can work with a lesser inventory, that's fine. The central market tax, you can't really get around, right? Next we have uh, Kamasovia's Blessing, again I will show you everything that it does on the screen and I will consider this to be a little bit worse uh, than the value pack, a little bit less mandatory or useful. It's very useful and this is why I'm putting it into specific, it's very useful if you want to life skill, specifically gather and or hunt because it increases your energy recovery which is uh whenever you gather you spend energy so this just makes you recover it faster and that's the most important part about the key drop rate not that important the warehouse uh, like storage space is nice to have but again you can work around this uh then last lastly we have the blessing of the old moon i'm going to put this into time savers i think this is the least va valuable item or subscription it just gives you a bunch of uh, exp buffs and some other conveniences but it's very much not worth the money i would say or i mean you can buy it it's fine you're gonna like it i think it's not mandatory at all it's not even item. it's just a time saver it's just it just helps you a little bit okay with those things out of the way uh we can move again just uh, category by category uh, there is one other item i would consider to be mandatory and uh, i would con call it a tent i think a lot of people will tell you if you have uh, looked into what to buy if you look into it like other people they will always talk about the tent the tent does a lot of things it lets you repair uh, on the spot it uh, gives you buffs it gives you like villa buffs which are like better buffs that you normally need to go over to a specific area of the game to get and it has some storage as well right there is a free to play tent that you basically need to upkeep every week you need to buy a license for it and it has the same functionality except the villa buffs and the repair is there but you need to craft or purchase an anvil uh, from the certain central market and the anvil is only active for 24 hours so it is really tedious now i put it into mandatory but i don't want you to buy this because you are going to go into the apparel shop and you're going to see that this costs 50 dollars which is way too much 
so don't buy it yet especially if you're a new, newer player you can play without it perfectly well wait for a sale wait until the game until Pearl Abyss gives us coupons and then buy it preferably wait for a sale and a coupon so you can get it for like 50% off also it depends on you if you want to just buy it for the 50 and you don't care it costs 50 that's fine to buy it buy it right now right so this is the only item I would consider to be mandatory Okay, so with the tank gone, let's move down to specific, and specific items are mostly going to be life skilling items. Uh, first off, let's go with the canopy outfit. Uh, the canopy outfit helps you cook faster, so it's just... It will turn out to be more money per hour, and you will be able to do more. Uh, but yeah, it's just for cooking, for nothing else. Then we have the... Main outfit, uh, which is for processing. So normally, if you process, you need to put those items into your inventory and then process them down. With the main outfit, you can do this from your storage, so you can AFK for longer. It does not take less time, but it's uh, it's easier to AFK process with this than without it. Then we have the Venesil, which uh, will help you when you do horse training. It will help you help your mounts level faster. Then the gathering pet, which is the hedgehog or the llama, or I think there's one more, but I don't know which one, or don't remember specifically. Uh, this helps you with gathering. Uh, whenever you gather, the pet has a chance to give you more items. Next up, the diving suit or swimming suit, fishing suit. It helps you swim faster this specific one the shark one there's another one that i don't have the picture of here uh, the, the shark one gives you more time underwater so there's only two things to do underwater it's either underwater gathering which is not really that great and i don't think that many people do that but maybe if you want to go into that you can and this will help you with that and the other is to get into Sikraya grind spot. Easier. You can still get there without this, but uh, this will just help you. Okay. And the last thing that I will put into specific, and it's actually not a life skill, are crown stones. And crown stones are very good if you want to enhance items because crown stones uh, what they do is that they basically ensure that your item does not downgrade when you enhance the way you get crown stones you can either buy them straight up but it's not that great usually you get them from outfits so you buy an outfit and you melt that outfit down into crown stones right and then uh, like I said, for normal gear, so armor and weapons, it will make sure it does not downgrade. And for accessories, normally accessories break if it uh, if the enhancement fails. With the ground stones, it will not break, but it can still downgrade even with the ground stones. But yeah, I I would say that this is the last item that I would put. Into specific, actually, no, sorry, there is one more, and that's the brandstone. And the brandstone helps uh, you in two specific areas, and it's hunting and fishing. Uh, what the brandstone does is that it makes your item that you brand with the stone, yeah, it makes it lose durability faster, so you have to repair it less often. For hunting, this is good because a matchlock, when you hunt, you need a matchlock and it loses one durability with every shot and this will happen very fast trust me and for fishing it will just help you afk fish for longer because fishing is basically an afk activity all right so those are all the items i would put into specific oh, i don't think there's anything that important anymore uh, next we have the mid tier the all right here and let's start with the two passes, so the daily pass and the battle pass. 
Uh, the daily pass is basically special looking rewards, the battle pass is your normal battle pass. Both of these just give you a little bit of everything, right? So they give you some cronstone, they give you some artisan memories, they give you maybe a pet, they give you an outfit, something like that, you know, a bunch of stuff. Uh, there are not, no like specific items that you can't get anywhere else. I think there used to be uh, like a pet hidden behind your daily pass, but I don't think that's, that's the case anymore. So yeah, you can buy this, it's definitely not a bad deal if you want them, but they're not important. Okay, next up uh, is the Celestial Calling Horn. This lets you call your horse from wherever in the world. Uh, it's uh, kind of useful to have in some specific circumstances, but normally you need to go to a stable keeper to call it to that stable. But it costs a little bit of silver, like very negligible amounts of silver to do so. Or you can just walk, right? It's... It's very nice to have, you know, it's convenience, as is the name of the game, uh, but it's nothing really that mandatory. Like, it will make your life a little bit easier, but it's fine. Okay, next up I will basically lump this into one item, so it's the inventory, the storage and the weight. All of these do basically the same thing, just slightly differently. So inventory slots are for your character, storage slots are for your storages, and weight is just for the weight of the items, right? The, the, every item in the game, or almost every item in the game, has a specific weight, and your character has a set amount of weight of items that they can carry before they get over-encumbered. I think the normal amount is around a thousand units of weight and uh, this gets really expensive to push up i think the maximum is around three thousand right so you will be able to carry more it will make your life easier once again uh, but i don't think i have ever purchased weight in my life and i have lived happily ever after and same for the storages. Uh, one thing that I should also mention is that the game also gives you inventory slots uh, during season. So if you have a season character, you get inventory spot uh, slots, and you don't have to use it on that character. You can use it. You can just make a burner season and just get all the rewards on your main, right? And storages are usually given during events. Weight is not usually given out. The next item that's alright, it's kind of similar uh, to the weight and it's the storage mates and the uh, central market mates, basically just mates. Uh, what they let you do is they let you remotely transfer items from your inventory into the storage or the central market. Uh, once similar to the inventory slots and storages the game gives you, uh, a lot of these mates for free during events, during quests, etc. So it's uh, not that bad, uh, but if you want more, you can always have more. Especially if you are not a long-standing player, if you just started, you will have maybe like 5 mates, maybe 10 mates at best, which can be too little at times, you know, it's some some specific areas. That's, I think, about it when it comes to alright. Uh, I would maybe consider the worker lodging to go there as well. Workers are like your passive income source, so you have nodes uh, in, the, in the game that, that have like specific resources and you can hire workers to get you those resources or you can use those workers to use resources to make other items or make uh, trade crates that you can sell for silver yeah one last item that we have not really talked about is the triant camouflage uh, this used to be very good in pvp especially because it hides your name from enemy players but 
Nowadays it's not really that important because open world PvP is dead. Let's just say it how it is. So maybe it's just cosmetic now. You know, it has plus one gathering on it, which is basically worthless. So I'm just going to put it gonna put it down to cosmetics. Okay, next up we have the time savers. I'm just gonna put these two items here. So this is the mount skill coupon. Mount skill change coupon. It lets you change the skill of your mount. If you want a specific skill on your mount, you can use it. If you don't want to level it up, it's just gonna save you the time. Similarly with fairies, uh, fairies just do stuff for you. It's just a, a lot, list of things that they can do. Uh, if you want them to do a specific thing, or if you want them to have a specific tier of that spell, so for example, they use your HP potion automatically, and the skill to do so has five tiers, and it goes from six seconds to I think two seconds. So obviously, if you want the two seconds timer, which is the best, you want to roll that specific spell or so on on that tier, right? This just lets you do that faster. The normal way, uh, which is why this is a time saver, is to basically keep rolling fairies because fairies come in a, like a roll box, loot box, whatever you want to call that, that you grind for, and then you level the fairy up, and if it gets those skills that you want, you keep it. If it doesn't, you throw her away and never, f never think about her again, and get a new one and try again. It can get really time consuming, it can also get kinda expensive if you don't have those items grinded, so yeah, this is why it's a time saver. Maybe I should also put this here, but I don't want to. So this is the energy potion, it restores a certain amount of energy, usually you want a 50 energy restore. I don't want to put this here. I want to put it here because you should not really waste your money on it. But right now on EU, so specifically, I don't know if it's the same on other regions, but we just don't have this item on the central market. You can buy it normally, but we just don't have it. I don't know if people just decided to, to gather for no reason or what they are doing, but we just don't have it. So maybe it could save you some time if you don't want to wait for your energy to recover if you, don't, if you just want to gather the time all right so we can move down to cosmetics and we have the mount skins so this will be your horse and your ships and wagons and whatever just all mounts i just put one icon because why not uh, they still give you some bonuses and if you want to min max your horse it will be good for you but if you just play the game casually and don't really care it's not that much big of a difference, so it's basically a skin. Same for the pets. The pets still have some bonuses. Uh, most importantly, pets pick up loot for you, and they come in different tiers. You need to basically feed a pet to another pet to make it improve. And it goes from tier 1 to the maximum of tier 5. But at the end of the day, it's just a skin. The pet will behave basically identically. It will have some specific bonuses. Those bonuses I would consider to be negligible. If you want to min max, you will want to min max. I'm not your dad. You can do what you want. And lastly, we have furniture. It's just for your house. There are some bonuses, but you can get this easily for free. So you are just buying the looks. Okay, and we are going down to the last group, which is don't waste your money. And yeah, just don't waste your money on this. If you absolutely feel like you must have some out, something out of this, except for one item here that I will talk about last, uh, then yeah, sure, go for it. You can buy it. I'm not your father. You can do what you want. I think the least bad item out of all of these uh, uh, is the character slot increase coupon. It just gives you one more character slot. It's that simple, no big deal. If you really feel like you need more characters and the uh, one coupon that you get for 10,000 loyalties is not enough or maybe you just don't have the loyalties right now, 
sure, go for it. Next up, we have the alien steer. Just don't buy this item, it's worthless. It lets you resurrect in spot, uh, on the spot, there is a fairy skill which does the same thing, you probably shouldn't be dying in the first place unless you're dying to PvP, in which case don't use this item at all, because you're just gonna get corpse camped anyway, so just don't do that. Uh, if you die to mobs, use the fairy, if you don't have the fairy, fair enough, you know, uh, the game still gives you a ton of these items for free though. Next up, the megaphone. It lets you type in world chat, uh, which basically means that uh, it lets you type in all channels at, all at once, I think, or all servers at once. It's a fun item, it's kind of a, a relic of the past, you know. We used to have this back in, like, I, I remember in Matin 2, you know, and there was an item like that, so it's fun, but if you, maybe if you just want your uh, text to be in a different color or something, you know, sure, okay. Uh, last, well, next to last is uh, the XP, the XP transfers, and the reason I put them into not wasting your money is because these are life skill specific, and Pearl Abyss has uh, recently, I think like four months ago, uh, announced that they will be merging all the life skills together. We don't really know all the details, right? But this item will basically become obsolete the moment it will uh, it hits. All right, <clears throat> that leaves us with the last item on this entire thing, and it's something that I simply do not understand. It's the entirety of the beauty salon. I have no idea why this is still in the game. They are selling something that comes packaged in with the value pack. So the beauty tab, the beauty salon, lets you do two things. It lets you customize your character and it lets you dye your outfits. But it's basically you are either buying the dyes, like for example, like you do in Final Fantasy, or you are buying a subscription to the dyes, right? You are buying a Murph's palette. But you get that Murph's palette inside the value pack, and it costs the Murph Splat on its own costs the same as the value pack. This should be removed. The, the only reason I could even think of why this is still in the game is because PA are either lazy or greedy or both. Because there is just no way that this is something that is still in the game. Alright, there's the tier list. I guess we learned something new every day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was at least informative. I tried to aim it at mostly new players, but also players that uh, are looking to maybe spend some money and are not really sure what is that important and what isn't. So I hope you liked it, and if you did, just tell me that uh, you are spending money in the game, or I don't know, have fun and enjoy your grind.